a daily prayer from the Ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Shaver. It's good to see you. Today is Friday, July 16th, the Friday before proper 11. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. Let's pray. O oh God, powerful and compassionate, you shepherd your people faithfully feeding and protecting us. Heal each of us and make us a whole people that we may embody the justice and peace of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Today's reading comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17. While Paul was waiting for them in Athens, his spirit was greatly upset because he saw the city was full of idols. So he was addressing the Jews and the God-fearing Gentiles in the synagogue and in the marketplace every day, those who happened to be there. Also, some of the Epicurean and Stoic philosophers were conversing with him, and some were asking, what does this foolish babbler want to say? Others said, he seems to be a proclaimer of foreign gods. They said this because he was proclaiming the good news about Jesus and the resurrection. So they took Paul, and brought him to the Areopagus, saying, May we know what this new teaching is that you're proclaiming? For you are bringing some surprising things to our ears, so we want to know what they mean. All the Athenians and the foreigners who lived there used to spend their time in nothing else than telling or listening to something new. So Paul stood before the Areopagus and said, Men of Athens, I see that you are very religious in all aspects. For as I went around and observed closely your objects of worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, To an unknown God. Therefore, what you worship without knowing it, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands as if he needed anything, because he himself gives life and breath and everything to everyone. From one man he made every nation of the human race to inhabit the entire earth, determining their set times and the fixed limits of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps grope around and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as some even of your own poets have said, for we too are his offspring. So, since we are God's offspring, we should not think the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image made by human skill and imagination. Therefore, although God has overlooked such times of ignorance, he now commands all people everywhere to repent, because he has set a day on which he is going to judge the world in righteousness by a man whom he designated, having provided proof to everyone by raising him from the dead. Word of God word of life. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. If you're comfortable doing so, I hope you'll pray out loud with me. It's good to lift our voices together to the Lord. Even though we're separated in time and in space, we are united by technology and in the power of the Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy moment, and for all who offer in it their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for the Good Shepherd, and all those touched by its ministries, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That will do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.